Yo, what up? We're here at Bryan Street Market. We're about to do a podcast. I'm getting my parking situation straightened up though, because it's not working properly. And I don't want to get towed. But uh, we're here. We're excited. I am at least trying to save my voice. I'm losing it. I don't know why. I gotta protect this voice. Otherwise, I'll be like doing sign language or something, which could be cool. Here at Bryan Street Market. We've got a podcast here. Hanging out at Alegria. Saying what's up. Yo, I'm Brian. Yo, Brian here with Social Mag. I hope your day is going fantastic. I am just so excited to bring another guest on the show here. Had a fantastic time with John Coleman. Coffee with Coleman and IG. You know, we had a fantastic convo couple midwest guys chatting it up about food sports and whatever else is in between he's from detroit and he's been out here for quite a bit love his energy love john's perspective dealing with people just hustling and grinding we are at bryant street market thank you so much for having us the team over at mrp realty have been so solid for us to allow us to use their space constantly and also Techery Abanero man I can't say enough good things about them and their people we tested out some great food we had some burrito tacos a little dippage going on over there um, just always on point always delicious thank you so much for that thank you for Hannah for getting some amazing shots of John and I as we pose yeah, Social Mag is on a mission, man. We're going to continue to keep growing little by little, and uh, we're going to have a great time doing it. If you know anyone that is super dope and you can see them on this podcast just to chat it up about life, people, whatever things they're doing, let me know. Enjoy, have a great week, and uh, be social. All right, are you good to go? I'm ready to go. Let's rock. All right. Yo, welcome to another episode of the Social Mag Podcast. Losing my voice here a little bit, but it's it okay. It happens, you know? Yeah. You're out there. You're talking to people. You're having fun. I <laughs> love it. It means you've been having a good time. I love it. So, if you heard that voice, th- this is Mr. John Coleman here. So happy that he said yes to this sit down, um, but excited to have you here, man. Thanks for coming out. I mean, I gotta say, a handsome face like you slides in my DMs. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta find ways to be places. Yeah. So. And, and and I love like your creativity. You're from Chi- No, you're from Detroit. Detroit. I'm yep. from Chicago. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. We got. Maybe we should have done this on site at Ivy and Coney, where we could have had the Detroit oh, Chicago man. dogs. That would have been cool. Round two. Round two. Okay, I'm down. But Bryan Street Market, obviously, this is, is the place to be. Yeah. This I is. I mean, a- I talk all the time about the Metropolitan Branch Trail. People love it. You see people running outside right now just everyone have a good time there's like breweries bars over there just people being people having a good yeah. time i love it so i gotta give a, a shout out to the team at bryant street market mrp realty thank you so much for having us we're about to taste some tacos from takigura habanero which you've never had right i have not had so okay. I, i'm expecting amazing things they're pretty good they got a, a bib gourmand from uh, michelin that's that's usually an indicator of quality yeah and i like that and and uh, the president came here for Cinco de Mayo. Wow. <laughs> that's that's some that's some up there scores. So I'm excited about this. So thank you so much for for coming out. I mean, we're gonna go. I have an I had an agenda to, to give, but I completely like, like a good agenda or an agenda. Like no, like, just I something. Go, I can go both ways. Like. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> something you know, like when you send someone like a proper invitation, like you just want to keep it professional. Like that's what there I there was a professional email there before was. this. Yes. I, I said okay, I got it. Yep. Yeah, and we go. like to keep it, you know, pretty, pretty on hands here and, and and fluid. I like this. And we have Hannah. Thank you for coming. What's up? She's hey, doing a great job. She's super talented. You haven't even, I don't know if you've seen her work, but she's awesome. I'm, I saw the. I, I can't say it because it hasn't been released yet, but I saw a little something on your phone. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, that yeah. looks pretty amazing. So. When are you putting that out? Uh, I'm waiting for him. Oh okay. Anyways, you got to have creator rights signed off on, on yeah. that one. Free, free, free mind, free, free creativity. Um, but thank you for coming out here. It's coming all the way from Frederick. Baked Park Tato does video content creation. Ooh. Yeah. 
Frederick's not close. Yeah, not close. close. <laughs> but it's a good drive. It's a it's a beautiful day for it. Better than the rain, you know. <laughs> Better than the rain. So where are you coming from? I know you spoke a little bit about this. So I live over by uh, like RFK Stadium. So right. what some people call Capitol Hill, Hill East, Barney Circle. Are they, names. They're, they're taking that down, right? There's, it's supposed to come down this year. You know, I assume you mean the stadium. Yep. Uh, originally, it said it was going to come down this year, and it, nothing's really happened with it. Uh. Um, and they've been quite quiet about what's going to be happening with the stadium until recently. They released a survey. It was like, what do you want to see what happened with the area? And like three of the options were like, this big of a stadium, this big of a stadium, this big of a stadium, or no stadium. Um, <laughs> I, I hope it comes over there. I know that's there's some people that do not want it there. But I'm a football fan. My wife's a big yeah. Commanders Washington football sure. fan, and I mean, I would host some tailgates and have some good times. So the tailgates there were off the charts. When so I, before my day, before my dude, day, I, I I used to watch DC United there, mm -hmm. and we would tailgate in the parking lot. So much fun! I was, I don't know, it was just a blast. I miss it. So I did go to a a DC United okay. tailgate there. So I have been to that, but I hadn't seen the NFL thing. My first year in D.C., I did see the Nationals playing there, which maybe dates me a little bit. But <laughs> uh, it was it was in a rough shape then. I, yeah. it's, the writing was on the wall, like kind of literally, like take yeah. this place down. That's awesome. Yeah, so let's get into it. So who is John Coleman? I'm going to ask you a couple questions, just mm -hmm. fun ones, nothing crazy. Um, what is your nickname? What do your friends call you? Uh, classic last name, so Coleman. Like Coleman. A lot of friends will just call me Coleman. Um, no other real nicknames I can think of besides JC? that. Uh, it, when I was like in fifth grade and I played hockey, I had the nickname Buzz Bomb. I, yeah, I, uh, one of the parents gave that to me. Um, I thought that was cool. It didn't, it didn't stick. I like it, yeah. Buzz Bomb. Didn't stick. Yeah. Uh, but Coleman is usually what people call me, and then yeah. my wife will call me John or yeah. whatever is needed in that moment. So. Okay. Here we go. Number two. Would you rather have an amazing breakfast or a late night snack? Late night snack all day. I don't what maintain this figure by, <laughs> what is it? by doing by skipping that that fifth meal. Um, what is like my go to late at night? Yeah, what like what what sizzles the the senses here? I love pizza. Like I'm a pizza guy. Wait, wait, square like Detroit. So I love Detroit style. Like, okay. Like not to tip the hat off at all. I saw that. Like Jet I've had Pizza. Jets. It's in Chicago. Yeah. It's not yet in DC. It's opening up. Serpinos. Very soon. Uh, I haven't heard Serpinos. Sir, dude. Um, and then, but if I'm getting it, I'm getting it delivered close to me. So oftentimes I'll be getting like slice joint from the roost, which is yeah, always yeah, yeah. good. Uh, Andy's, Andy's, I can get delivered. Wow. Andy's is so good. Well, it's funny because Andy's has different little menu items based on which Andy's it yeah, is. Yeah. So like the one in Noma doesn't have the chorizo fries and yeah. those chorizo fries. I've never had that. It's really good. They only do it. Uh, the only one I've ever found it at yeah. was the one by the ballpark. Ooh. So the one by the ballpark will have the chorizo fries, and those those are really good. Okay. Chili cheese fries. Those. Uh, so look. Andy's Pizza. If you're watching this, whoever's on your social media feed, you owe me a hat. Or me. Like. Yeah. Get us a hat. Okay. Hook it up. <laughs> ja, ja, come on. It's for Coffee with Coleman here. Um, okay. Third question. Last question here. Let's see what's a good one. Would you rather uh, smell like garlic 24-7? Or, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or if you sweat, you sweat. Oh, no, no. If you sneeze, you sneeze marbles. I'll take the odor thing because I'll get used to it. Everyone else has to deal with it, but whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be shooting Dude, those things out my nose. I, I'm with you. Yeah, and it yeah. would hurt. It could yeah. kill someone. But it could be self-defense. It could be. So could, the, so could the garlic. I don't know. Like Vampires. <laughs> We live in a weird world where yeah. that might actually help. So, Perfect. Well, appreciate those questions uh, answered. All right, so let's talk about you. Who's John Coleman? Where are you from? How did you end up in D.C.? So I uh, grew up in Detroit, Michigan, uh, and then I went to University of Michigan for undergraduate, and I graduated, now that I get to date myself, I graduated from Michigan in 2007, and I don't know if you followed the economic history of what was happening around 2007, 2008, 2009. Part of it, yeah. Um, it, it wasn't. It was a little bleak in Detroit. Yeah. So the options of finding a career in Detroit, doing that. So it actually came down to I was going to move to D.C. or I was going to Chicago. And I, it's because groups of my friends from college were moving to those areas. I didn't have a job or anything yet. I wasn't a forward thinker. I was just trying to 
really crushed that last semester of senior year, having a good time. Uh, and so the people in Chicago found an apartment. And what happened was, since they found an apartment, then I needed to come down to D.C. So I hopped on a Greyhound bus down to D.C., and I found a door-to-door -door sales job for a little while to, like, get Love my it. feet here and Love do it. it. I don't. I, I was selling, like, credit card processing, yes. and it, uh, I... I, that, it didn't last very long. I wasn't very good at that, nor do I uh, think it was a very lucrative career. Yeah. Um, so I did that just to get my feet here, and then I uh, then I switched over into the consulting world. Did c consulting for like HR and stuff for for a hot second. That's awesome. How was that sales like? Like, did that help you kind of one like figure people out a little bit? No, because that was the kind of job where they just kind of lure you in with the Craigslist ad and like send you out there with like a you know bright eyes hoping someone yeah. might feel bad for you and sign up so like there wasn't much training or skill that was like thrust upon me in that it was more like survival mode uh where i learned i, I don't consider myself a big sales person mm. um and there's I, I get in debate with this with other agents all the time because we are sales people like we sell things but depending on how you're helping someone you're you're not necessarily trying to sell a house to a person you're working with. Like if you're trying to find a house and you're trying to buy it, like it's not my job to actually sell you the house. My job is to help find you the house that fits your needs. Mm -hmm. So, and I want to help find the best house for you because I want you to be happy and then refer all your friends and do all that stuff. So, um, I, I the only time sales really comes into it for me, in my opinion, is more of like when we're actually, listing somebody's house and negotiations mm. come in there and i learned a lot through the mentors and stuff i had there but on the back end of that um a lot of it comes down to the marketing and the marketing stuff is really what i've been excited about and trying to do stuff different than the classic like you know postcard or something like that yeah. which is why i like doing youtube and instagram and all that stuff it's fun yeah and and i think like that's how i found you through instagram i just liked your vibe and how you like communicated to to people through the comments as well mm-hmm that's got to be a lot of work, but uh, it's it, a new full time job. Yeah. Like it, it's not one that I expected, but it's actually fun, which yeah. is good. Like yeah, I yeah. enjoy it. Doesn't really pay bills at this point, but no. we'll see. Maybe. Yeah, one day we'll see. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. I'm gonna kind of mention it, but I, I introduced. Uh, I was telling a friend. I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna be having, you know, a podcast with uh, with Mr. Co Coleman, Coffee with Coleman." He goes, "Dude." The real estate guy? I'm like, yeah. He goes, dude, I message that guy all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, he responded back. And he goes, I appreciated it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, uh, it's it's important. If you're creating yeah. kind of like a little center of activity and you yeah. want people to interact with your content, well, interact back. Yeah. And my general feeling on a lot of the interaction is, you know, some people will message and be like, that place sucks. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Like doesn't mean it, that's probably it, it sucks for you like that's cool that's fine um but at the same time some people like it yeah. and i'm just showing options out there for people yeah. to like or not like and the truth is these places can only get one offer that they can accept anyway so yeah. it just takes one person to like them and other people get to refine what they're looking for by knowing what they don't like yeah 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 no, i completely appreciate that and i think you know what you're explaining and what you're sharing is not sales but it is like what sales is like mm -hmm. you're, you're you're adding different elements to this. Mm -hmm. Like I was in sales too for a while and that's how I learned how to talk to people. And mm -hmm. I remember one per, one uh, boss I had was like, you know, sales isn't cut out for you. And I was like, why is that? And he goes, you talk too soft. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, come on. And it wasn't until um, I actually started doing outside sales, like face to face. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, this is easy. This is fun. I did cold calling like mm -hmm. over the phone for three years. That's that's the hard like there's agents that do that really well and yeah. there's a business model and some of it absolutely crush it yeah there. yeah yeah like i get one person to be really mean to me on the phone and i'm like uh no yeah <laughs> it just makes me sad it, it, it is and it's like they hang up on you and for me what i've learned i used to get so pissed off and then i was like dude let's get this feeling out i call i call another one immediately i'm like nope you can't let it sit call another one until you get a good one yep and you know it's funny because for me when i was i was selling technology at a point too someone dropped like 100k to buy batteries over the phone and wow. it was for a reliant k stadium and it was like how i got it like five o'clock in the afternoon i'm like hey what do you got going i'm brian he's like send us a quote and i was like for real sent it he's like good we'll purchase it and i was just like the heck 
<laughs> like that same day. Like, <laughs> you had to act like it was cool. You're like, oh yeah, I do this all the time. Dude, like, I had no idea what how to do this. So like, send him a quote. He he made a purchase, and uh, he's like, "Well, get here in two weeks." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." I was there for an hour and a half trying to call distribution. Like, hey, how are we gonna do this? I don't know what I'm doing. And then uh, it finally went through, and I was like, I cannot believe this dude just purchased this over the phone to someone he doesn't know. Just like here, just invoice me. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> like, and it was the greatest feeling ever. And I was like, dude, anything is possible. <laughs> and then the next call was like, you suck. Yeah. Stop. You calling. don't know what you're doing. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I was like, whatever. That's okay. Yeah. Have you ever read that book, Ninja Selling? No. So it's a really good book about coming from a place of. Um, like helpfulness for other people and like being yourself and kind of contributing to people without the expectation that they're going to just give back to you for mm -hmm. it. That's sort of the mentality that I've followed Love as that. I've gone through my career. It's like um, we try to cultivate a relationship with people and push it along and we want to be, you know, a person that can give them advice and help and everything along the way. And that's the real way to build a business. Yeah. So it's that word of mouth. Like we're, like Instagram's great. It's not my main source of business. Yeah. My main source of business is still like 85% referral based. Yeah. So. And it, I feel like social media, you can't really control. You can control your output. And I feel like if you have like a strategy internally for your business, it's more powerful connecting mm -hmm. and keeping in touch, you yeah. know, uh, with, with your customer base. So how, how has it been? I know like market's kind of crazy. Like mm -hmm. what, are, what are some of the challenges? I, I see all the good and cool things you're doing. Like what are some challenges you see? with trying to close, you know, houses and, and selling it. It's, um, it's a, f like, people want to ask how the market is, right? Like, yeah. that's the natural question. Sure. Hey, how's the market? And a lot of that depends on where you're coming from wanting to know that information. So, you know, on one hand, if you're looking to purchase, it kind of stinks in a lot of ways. There's high interest rates, there's not much inventory, and if you need to make a move, you have limited options and it's costing more than you want it to cost. Sure. Um, and on the selling side, like there's less purchasers out there, but there's less to compete with. And so that kind of derives it in its own direction for agents. Not that anyone should really care what agents think. Uh, it's, it's a really hard market. And, um, I've seen a lot of people going through a lot of changes in their own business this year, because even though it feels like transactions are happening, days on market are staying the same. There's about 30% less homes being sold this year in comparison to last year. Mm. And so that's 30% less business out of there. Wow. So people that have, you know, started creating their marketing plans and doing all that, it, it changes how they have to approach the business and change what they're doing. And during the pandemic, during COVID, it, it got a little bit easy for a while for some people because everybody kind of wanted to move during that time. Like, yeah. can't talk with my friends, might as well buy a house. So... Yeah, the building industry was going nuts mm -hmm. uh, during COVID. Like we couldn't, I was in the building industry for a bit. We couldn't get enough inventory to sell. Everything cost went up, raw materials went up. And I was like, dude, this is nuts. How are people like spending so much money on PVC trim, which was what I was selling. Yep. It was nuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just like, I don't know. I, I'm never like surprised anymore. Like what, especially in DC, what people like are able to do. You know, you just don't know. Who it's they a are. weird city, and yeah. like some of the comments I get on the videos are like, "Who actually affords this?" <laughs> and like the only thing I can say is like, "I hear you." Like, DC's just got some funny money, and yeah. like, funny things money. happen. Yeah, that's so funny. Okay, so how I found you was Instagram. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about like this whole concept of, "Yo, come check this out." Like, how did that come about? Like, that's so catchy, you know? So I um. I went to a conference in Houston. Yeah. So I, I changed brokerages at the beginning of this year um, to be more aligned with some people that I was had been following on social media for a while. And then they were putting on a conference down in Houston. So I went to that conference and people were kind of opening up their playbooks for what they were doing. And there was a couple of people that were doing, well, one person's doing exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so I ch chatted with him and he kind of laid it out for me a little bit about what he does. And then I think the important thing is, as I kept hearing each person speak and talk and go through it, the reoccurring theme with anybody that's successful at this stuff is authenticity. So being able to really apply yourself in a way that people can relate to it. Yeah. And I'm sure I'd do my videos in a way that some people are like, I would never talk to that dude. Actually, people have commented that before. What? That's fine. <laughs> um, and then there's 
it's then there's other people thing. that reach out to me. They're like, hey, like, you kind of see my vibe. Like, could I t- could I pick your brain on the market for a little yeah. bit? Sure. It's literally my full time job, so I love to do that. Uh, so, it's it's a little bit of figuring out what what's going on and what's working, and being able to apply it the way that you want it to be done. And I didn't think it was going to work like it did. Yeah. I left Houston. I think it was September, March, April. I think it was in April. May. I think it was yeah. May. And so I left Houston in May. And the idea was by the time I hit the end of this year, I wanted to have 2,000 people following me on Instagram. And I wanted two people following me on um, on YouTube. Wow. And so now Two it's people, you said? 2,000. Oh, 2,000. Yeah. Okay. 2,000 people on each of them. Nice. And so then that ended up happening pretty much overnight Fairly one quick. time. Yeah. Um, and then I just haven't looked back since. And honestly, like I was, I was just kind of afraid to lose traction. So I'm just like, I'm just going to keep doing them. And for me, it's more about the art piece of, I've never had an outlet of expression that's artistic. Like my family was in musical theater. My dad played trombone. He's still playing in swing bands these days in Northern Minnesota. And like everyone in my family has artistic talent. I've never found mine. But then video came along, and now like you get to play with edits and music and how you can make people feel by doing certain things. And that's been a lot of fun to have an expression that I can play with. Um, and it's been kind of altering a lot yeah. in my business of like how I approach things and how I want to do it. Yeah. And I get to meet cool, awesome know, people that want to so reach cool. out and talk. Yeah. When I saw you, I was like, dude, I can vibe with this guy. His hats. I dude, like, I could eat some tacos with that guy. Seems good. <laughs> <laughs> Drink some, dude. Mexican colas and freaking Topo Chicos. Let's go. Not sponsored yet. <clears throat> Cheers. Oh, by the way, so I have to throw a shout out to these guys. Bravo Sierra. Ooh. I, I've been looking for a deodorant and Hannah knows this. Bam. And Hannah knows this. I like we went on a trip and I just smelled so bad the entire time because this deodorant I had was not working. <laughs> and so uh, these guys reached out and was like, hey, we have this deodorant. We want you to check it out. And it's oh. U.S. military. Yeah. Made in the U.S. Families and veterans. Got I haven't used it. Smell veterans. it. Smell it. Here. Oh, uh, yeah. Use it when I, got here. I did not use it. Look at that. Ooh. Come on. Let's Ooh. go. That's nice. Dude, yeah. Talk. Like, you like, give you a little scent, you know? It, it's great. And <laughs> the, the ingredients are fantastic. That's nice. Yeah. I, I was like, impressed. So thank you so much. And uh, got to give him a shout out. And we got to get... Mr. John here some. I'll hit him up. And That's his nice way of saying I smell. But uh, but if I smelled like this, I would be much more approachable. Woo! Would not smell like garlic. You can sneeze like marbles. Can you imagine <laughs> sneezing marbles smelling like that? Man. That I mean, I'd be happy that way too. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just got some tacos. You ready to taste a little bit? Let's do it. I love having the cables out. It's great. I've, I, Hannah, which one do you want? You can get the Alpa store. I'll have him test the bur- burritos. Is that the Alpa store? All right. You, you've had burrito tacos, right? Are these the dippy ones? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's these, the technical term. The dippy ones. These are the the specialty of theirs. Ooh, ooh. Trust me. We get the B roll for that. Did, look at that. <laughs> All right. Ready? 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 Here we go. Ooh. All right. We're gonna give you first dibs. Look at this. This is it. This is their special. And this is, so I, I watched uh, an Instagram about people making these recently at home. Not that I ever cook, but <laughs> I didn't realize that the what you dip it in is actually what, what is the meat's cooked in. Yeah. So it's really like it's full full circle. Facts. Family of fun and bringing it together. Facts. It, it all plays. It's it all delicious. Plays. Go ahead. I'll, I'll hold this for you. Definitely dripping this on my pants. Not on your microphone, though. No, you, it doesn't matter. we got plenty of mics. You can stand yeah. that up, actually. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Thank you, Will, for hooking it up. Oh, dude. Is that you, what you're supposed the, to do? Dude, you did it perfect. That was okay. so good. Oh, man. Talk to me. Isn't that delicious? Mmm. Isn't that amazing? It, the meat just really pulls apart nicely. Yeah. Um. The extra like cilantro and everything and the cheese yeah. pulls it together. Thank you for holding my mic. You're good. I want to give a real time like feel so of this. Oh, dude. 
Um, that's really good. It's just like perfectly mm -hmm. done. Overall, like delicious. Oh, this is what you eat every day, right? <laughs> I wish. Hannah eats it every day. That's impressive. She drives here all the way from Frederick. All the way from Frederick. Yes, <laughs> she Yeah, like it, it's amazing. It's just delicious. All and right, we need, we need your real time. No. Okay, okay. Let's see here. I'm going to steal your swirly technique because that was well, insane. What's traditional? I don't know. I usually just dip, but you did this. <laughs> Do you see this? You got to mix it up. Oh, you, man. You got to let that layer break down. You got to get go. everything in there. Let's get some ASMR here. Wow. That's how you have a good day. Oh my gosh! Doesn't it just take you somewhere? It just it just makes you happy. It's like mm -hmm. this and helping people buy a house. Things make me happy. Oh my gosh! This is absurd. Go right there. Wow. Thank you for these drinks, by the way. My pleasure. So how'd you get started with all this? Do I get to do I get to yeah, do yeah, a whole talk like, back to at it? Yeah, heck yeah, man. Talk to me. I don't. With these uh, <clears throat> podcasts, I don't think people ask me enough questions. Mm -hmm. I'm always the one asking questions. Um, so I've been doing this for quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I really started in like 2013 while I was working for construction. I was on screws. Yep. And I was like, hey, there's people on social media that I can reach out to easily. Because I used to like go door to door mm -hmm. and like call. Hey, let me, let's me let meet up. But now I'm just like... 2013 i'm like yo what's going on what's happening or 2015 i think um and so i uh started evolving um i had to like really uh change the company's mind into social media it was so much work mm -hmm. and one day like i was like i can't talk and sh like talk about this so what i did got my credit card maxed it out dropped seven <laughs> grand i got everything i needed i was like and one day, and I brought it to a trade show, I just went crazy. And I was like, how the hell am I going to pay for this? I was like, whatever, I'm going to show them what it is. And so that's what I did. And they're like, wow, this is amazing. I was like, yeah. So then it kind of evolved from there. Taught everything, like taught myself everything and mm -hmm. learning from other people as well. Um, even the podcast stuff. Started a podcast, didn't know what I was doing. There was a roofer in Pennsylvania that hooked it up, teaching me how to edit the audio. Oh, nice. Good friend of mine. And uh, I, I called him. I was doing a podcast for work. And I was like, his name is Ryan. And uh, he, I was like, Ryan, I need your help. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to push this out tomorrow. I was freaking out. He wasn't responding. And then I kept calling him. He finally sends me a video. He's like, dude, this is what you do. Show me how to do it <laughs> on uh, Adobe Edition before AI. Yes. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, lifesaver. And then boom. Th that's just kind of how it rolls. Like, And then with Social Mag. It's kind of my baby, so mm -hmm. I work with brands, creatives, people to kind of just connect with people just like this, mm -hmm. tell their stories and like create something cool and unique. And it's hopefully like evolving to that sense. And who do you look up to when you're doing that? Like, who like, do I look up to? Um, just you mean like inspiration? Yeah, everyone. So um, I was telling you could follow five people okay. on social media to gain inspiration to further your business who are the five people you're following that's a great question i already know so action bronson okay fuck that's delicious mm -hmm. um i get a lot of inspiration from them um let's see man that's probably the number one thing uh, i'm trying to think like any documentary like vice style mm -hmm. is what i'm aiming for with these things eventually um Big Roman Empire fan over there, documentaries, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't even. Uh, yeah, so, like, I don't know. It's, it's very tough to say because I pick things a little bit from everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm also trying to get, like, a magazine, um, physical and digital, that I'm working on. Oh, that's awesome. So I write articles for mm -hmm. people, like, my own way. Um, there's swears in it. There's, like... It's a different take. Authenticity, right? Like, I'm, you want yourself to jump out through the page. That's it. Slap and, them with a little F bomb. Get it to go. And the thing with me is, like, I'm not trying to be someone different. It's not hard for me because I'm being myself. And it's just, like, I, I love it. Like, one thing that I do love is people creating, mm -hmm. um, people doing something, 
Um, don't really try to knock on a lot of creatives because I know I was once there with like an iPhone 5, like, hey, check this out, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just cool to see someone grow, take something from nothing and like build this thing. And I got big plans, man. And it's just like, I, I just got to do it because I can't, I can't talk about it. Yeah. You know? And that's, uh, that's the difference between you and a lot of people. A lot of people talk about it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. And then there's people like you that are like, I don't really want to talk about it. I'm just going to go ahead and just grind at this thing that makes me excited. And then one day pick up your head and be like, oh, this is this is different than I planned. And it's awesome. There's I, the there's so much stuff going on in the back end. Like people just see this, but like mm -hmm. I'm Instagramming people all the time, reaching out to brands for sponsorships. Like Hannah, ha I CC her on so many emails. I, I quit recently because I was like, this is too much. <laughs> because I was like, hey, I want to introduce you. This is what's happening. People say no. I get We got hung up on one time. We were doing cold calls in the car. <laughs> I got hung up on. I was like, whoa, cool. People hung up on you? Why? Yeah. Uh, but there's so much stuff going on in the pitching. Like it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And this is just, as you see, as you, you notice probably that the videos is such a small percentage of what you do. Yeah. And that's all they see, right? Mm -hmm. So like, it's just a grind to continue. They don't see me laying on the couch and cap cut. <laughs> just like, <"Duh." laughs> dude, <laughs> trying to get it to look good. But, uh, but I appreciate you asking. I went on a, been going on a rant there, but. It's, Those are the good times. Yeah, and you know I'm pretty pr pumped up actually. Recently, I got asked to talk at this like community group. That's awesome. And uh, it's called Fam Jam in um, Southeast DC. Like all these creatives come in. They're musicians, rappers, artists, and I'm over here like a social media video creator. Like they give me like 15 minutes to like. I don't know who you are. Gonna be walking through that thing with a gimbal, just ready to go. <laughs> like, I got you. <laughs> I, I'm I'm excited about it. I don't know what to to expect. I don't know anyone there except for per one person, and. Um, I'm just gonna go do my thing. But those are the most exciting times. Yeah. Like when you, when you get not stuck, but when you get put into a place where you don't have a plan, but you want to create something out yeah. of it. It's when you get creative, and that's yeah. when something different pops. That's when yeah. you get to try something, and like maybe it's not the thing you adopt forever, but there's gonna be one thing that you take that's gonna adjust what you do like a year down the line. It, I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know what to, to expect. I'm looking to like meet new people, pretty mm -hmm. much. Like I'm always trying to like connect with new people. I don't care what they do, who they are, like as long as they're like pursuing something great, you mm -hmm. know, I I'm down for it. Like, it, it's incredible these people that I meet and just come across with. Like, someone asked me, and you get this a lot, um, with one of my my chef friends. He's very young. He's like, hey, how do you talk to people? Like, how do you do this? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, you go to t to people, you talk to them, you ask things. Like, how do you do that? And I was like, dude, I don't know what the right answer is. I was like, just go out there, you'll figure out what to say, you'll fail a lot, and then you'll find your juice, you know? But it's not going to happen. Failing is where the best part is. Yeah. And, like, once you get over your fear of failing, like, it's, you've been in sales, so, like, yeah. you failed a lot. Not to say he's a failure, but, like, <laughs> he's learned a lot more than other people have been able to learn in a short amount of time because you took it on the chin, but you were able to learn from every single time. People that are afraid to fail are the ones that never grow. It's crazy. And... You know what I've learned um, also too like the only way to fail is if you quit so like true it, it's like logic right like all right you stop doing what you're, you're doing yeah but, it's like the stock market you haven't lost the money yet you just don't you're not selling you're yet, not you know? yet. you're letting it hold and you'll get back I love it um, so like where do you see like coffee with Coleman go like I can see it in different directions it's a really good question so I don't have a long-term vision for it uh, I think it's making me a better agent because I look at more houses than I've, I've always looked at more houses. I feel like than the average agent just cause I'm always out and doing things, but I do so at a higher degree and I know the market better. So in a way I think it's help, helping me craft my own like game there. Um, I've done a couple of Airbnbs at this point, which I would totally be down to do some more. I think, there's a couple people in my DMs right now being like, dude, I offered you my Airbnb. And I'm just like, sorry, I'm really bad at DMs. So if you're watching this, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm really bad at DMs. Email me. Um, so I'd love to do more of that. And then I want that to expand a little bit further because my ultimate thing is at some point, I'd like to have some type of travel vlog that's my own thing. And like, everybody wants to do travel vlog, right? Like it's it's hot, it's cool. You travel the world, you do fun things. It looks amazing. Um, because of I, what I like to do here, I'd probably wrap up some real estate into it as I travel around and do some stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I'd have to find a way to get more personal time in order to do that because I work nonstop. 
but that would be the ultimate goal is being able to take what I do and grow it in a way that's like an international like look at what we're doing and yeah and apply and, it and yet I saw you with your drone skills impressive I mean, if you crash a drone, if you fail with a drone, a yeah. lot of times you'll get better at it. Dude, so and I've, you've lost one, right? Um, I've had about three crashes. <laughs> oh I, I yes. most recently I was in Minnesota and I did a, a little video tour up there. Uh, I was showing my dad the drone off the dock of his place, and like I had it and it, I forgot to take it off of like fixed on an object, and so yeah. I was trying to like stop it, and it just kept going, and then it ran into a tree, and then it fell under the water. But we got it out, and it worked Did right you? after that. Yeah, wow. so it, it's it's totally fine. But I've crashed it more times than I like to admit, <laughs> and I'm over it. Like I, that's why you get the insurance, whatever. Yeah, you take um, yeah, exactly. But I I wish I got to do more drone stuff, but DC you can't. It's, you can't. Like it's covered 15 miles, right? Although I do, I don't know how they do it. I see a few people these days that do have some type of drone footage that they shot themselves. Yeah. I'm I'm afraid to do it myself because I I don't I'm get not arrested. really in the business of getting arrested, but like I would love to be able to implement in that into you know what I do. we could also take like a GoPro put on a stick. I have the ten foot pole for the 360. Oh yeah. wow! So I've I've thought about doing it before, but I just haven't done it. Yeah. Because when I'm shooting, I'm I'm always by myself. I don't have anybody with yeah. me, so it's just like me with my little gimbal running around doing things. And so if I get more creative and I find something cool, then maybe I'll. I'll, I'll try to do that. So. And it takes a lot of time, too, because isn't it sometimes you don't have that much time to look at a house, right? Mm -mm. So you're mm -mm. just like in and out and you have. I usually so I usually block. So as an agent, we are able to reserve time mm. frames. So I usually block about 30, 45 minutes okay. to get in there. Sometimes I'm in and out there in five minutes and sometimes it'll take me 45 minutes because I'll fall going up the stairs three times or something like that. Do you ever get honked at? Because you're in the street. Uh, I do get honked at uh, quite often. Um, not for so, that for your good looks. <laughs> <laughs> not usually. Hello. Um, it's been funny. That's recently uh, I've had a few people that pulled over. Like, are you the dude on TikTok? I'm like, yeah. I don't know how to make this not awkward, but yeah, that's me. That's cool. Thank you. Um, that's which so is cool. really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I'm glad people are enjoying watching it, and I I, I like doing them. Yeah, you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So the beginning part, I need to know. Like, how did that come about? You know, when you're like, hey, come on, like, is that instinct, something you've always done? I just did the, I did it the first time, and it's like a version of what I saw other people doing with it. And then I was like, kind of, okay, kind of, let's go. And if you go back and you watch, watch the progression through it, you'll see, like, I notice it because I did it, but like, do I add a sound here? Do I, how do I edit it here? How do I want to, like, walk through the property? Like, Every time I'm doing one, I'm learning something new about how I want to do it. It's kind of like the, the challenge thing. Yeah. It's like sometimes I get into places like, I don't know how I'm going to make this place look <laughs> like how I want to make it look. Um, and then like for some way, like I, I will do it. And like I try desperately not to be in mirrors because I don't want to yeah. ruin the house with my face too much. Yeah. And so like how I can pivot and move around and do stuff yeah. is like I have to like practice it. I'm like a little ballerina. Uh, um, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think we could do a video what you did like of this place? Is that possible? And I'll post it on my feed. You don't got to post it on yours. We could be like, hey, what's up? We're here at Bryant Street. Yo, meet Will. This is what we had. Like, they're cooking it up here. Is Let that... me think through that. I think there's probably a possibility of doing yeah. that. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I, I just want to do that, like, first thing with you. Yeah. Cool, we, hot. Well, we'll do, the, we'll do the, we could do the intro for sure. Yeah. That would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. And then I'll just stick that on mine. <laughs> <laughs> that way you don't ruin your, your, your feed. Um, <laughs> that look. But uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so talk to me. Like, what, what do you want the people to know about, you know, what you do for work, how they can get in touch with you? Because you work in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia? Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. Lessons okay. in all three. Okay. Uh, I'd say inside the Beltway, but that's an, an exact science. Uh, we've sold stuff, everything from Annapolis to Warrington to wherever else. I haven't been to Frederick yet, but you know. And Frederick? <laughs> I have not done Frederick yet, but you never know. Depends on how the market's doing and how much time I have. If yeah. I have a bunch of time on my calendar, I'm more likely. And I do have people that work with me that allows me to to help people in a lot of different sure. areas. So, I mean, if anyone's ever curious about anything from the content creation standpoint or from real estate standpoint, I'd just say shoot me a note. Like, yeah. 
I, my my link tree's got like my cell phone number in it. And no like, way. It's literally you my trust cell phone. people, I guess. I don't know. Like it's kind of my job to like yeah. have people call me. So yeah. it's it's what I want. Love um, it. Until it's too much, but I don't think it's I I I don't think it's ever going to get to a point that yeah. it's too much. Like yeah, it's I feel you. And and so like I guess you know where you at where you live is a kind of a special unique place too. I feel like that is one of the more like truest DC areas, you mm-hmm. know, kind of somewhat untouched, but like at the oh, same. Oh, it's very touched. Is it's, it? Oh yeah, I mean it's it's a mixture. It's like there's people that have there's houses that have just been renovated. Yeah. There's people that have been there for decades upon decades, and it's it's a it's a true mixture of of what you see across the city. Sure. Um, I love the neighborhood. I love the people on my block. I bought my house on my block because I actually moved clients onto the block. And I made a joke to them. I was like, if you don't buy this, I might. And they thought I was just being like a salesperson. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. ha, ha, ha. And then like six months later, we bought a house on the same block. I mean, like, I was dead serious. I love these houses. That's awesome. So, and you live in the in the community that you're serving. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, there's, you got to, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's a fun one to do. And like, I, I do do a lot of houses around yeah. my house. But sometimes that's because I'm like, oh, I need to get a video in today. Well, it looks cool. And like, my neighborhood always stands out to me. So yeah. like. That's awesome. Now, do you coach anyone like outside of your own team? Like, do you offer do, consulting services for like real estate or like teach? Not, not per se. So we have people that will come and work on either with our team, and then they're directly kind of in our little yeah. community culture because we're about seventeen agents in the Jason Mark okay. Group. Um, and then um, through our brokerage, real some people will sign on and kind of be a part of that bigger community and then we have sure. a smaller pocket of yeah. dc that kind of hang out and do their thing too that's so, awesome and like the thing i liked was a bunch of the people when we came over were very embedded in doing video and stuff so like there's a couple of guys that do awesome on youtube out there there's some people out in virginia that do a lot of cool stuff with yeah. shorts and things like that so like I, i'm i'm a big steel sharp and steel kind of person and so i want to be that. around people that kind of continue to push yeah no i love that about you man i think see i knew you'd be cool man i don't know about that hey i love it and I, let's talk about your hats for a second because that's a topic that that attracted me to you you have different hats you love sports i've only won one hat in every single video is it that baltimore one the orange this one shut up is it, it is, i feel like i've had go go pull up instagram right now and i believe go through. you it I is i wear so it's not this exact hat. I have about five of these hats. Okay. Um, so it doesn't. It There's doesn't like smell. an orange. Um, I like, might, that one know. looks nice. Yeah, this one's newer. Uh, I pull it out. I don't know. I'm I'm a I'm a person of consistency. Yes. Um, and then I found out that Jets Pizza is actually opening in DC soon. So I've just been sticking with it. It's uh, in Alexandria. Oh, cool, cool. So uh, over, couldn't give you the exact location, but I, I will once it's open. You're there. Make make no mistake. I'm. I'm we're gonna, doing a vlog. We're going to yes. Jets. Oh yeah. Well, I'm. I'm. I've already talked to the guy that's opening it. We're gonna do some giveaways pizza, and stuff oh, like that. Like it'll be done. fun. Yeah. That will be amazing. It is my favorite pizza from Detroit. Not everyone's gonna love it, but that's okay. Like it. Whenever I go back, like that's what I get. Or when I go to like Chicago, yeah, I'll get it delivered. If I go to New York, they have a few up there. And like usually when I travel somewhere, I'll look online and be like, do they have a Jets here? Uh, <laughs> and now now I'm gonna have my very own. <laughs> Dude, I love pizza. Like. My first love. Okay, so when I first moved to the U.S., I loved the New York Knicks, mm-hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and pizza. I mean, that's the trifecta of a great childhood. You know? Yeah. Assuming you were a child at that point. Yeah. I, don't know. yeah. I still <laughs> love. Still, funny thing. I was playing the arcade version of Teenage Ninja Turtles last night on an emulator online because I was waiting for some people to send a document. Yeah. And I saw something that reminded me of that. So I was sitting there. My wife was like on the couch. She's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Just playing Ninja Turtles. It's cool." Love it. <laughs> See, me and you would, would vibe for sure. Well, who's your turtle? It used to be Donatello. Okay. And then I love the uh, the suspense and like the secretive vibe of Raphael. Okay, I can see that, yeah. I, and that's where you got the red hat, you know. Yeah. Just... So so he's always like. Hey, I'm going to do my own thing, disappears, mm-hmm. you know, always like trying to figure out who he is by himself. Then it goes back. Like, that's that's my thing. Like, I love getting lost. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's just something about those those knives, that little, little detective hat, the little overcoat in New York City. That's that's the real deal. I'm a Michelangelo. Cause Are I'm you? Like, I feel like that's the basic kid one, you know, like he likes pizza and he likes to party, Goofy. man. Like, it's, it's cool. Let's go. Dude, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I watch it all the time. I like the. Wait, which one do you like? Like 
So I'm not, I don't know the newer ones as well. Like okay. I, I'm classic, Same. the old cartoon. I watched the movies like Return of the Shredder and all that stuff. Like I, I saw at least the first two. Those were scary back in the day. Um, I think those are the best ones. I had the toys, like the car that went, and like those are my jam. April O'Neil. I mean, Let's, come on. I mean, who doesn't like? I mean, I feel like her style's back. Like it's it's a full like onesie, like Dude, yellow. It, it was great suit, I, right? I remember April O'Neil was like, oh my gosh, like news reporter successful. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you got like this immigrant kid, you know, coming to the states. I'm like, oh my gosh, who is this lady? You know, and like solving crimes, hanging out with superheroes. I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> um, but yo, this has been fantastic. I know you're kind of strapped for time here, and uh, I don't know if you are or not, but I, I, I want to respect. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I, I know you're a busy person, um, but uh, to wrap this up, I guess, like, give these people a little bit of, I guess, you know, some of your plans. What do you expect to do here in the fall? Mm-hmm. Um, some things that. You know, for people to hear. Uh, so, is this for me or for them? For you. For me. So, my big, and if you guys want to hold me accountable, is like, I've had a lot of stress this year of like trying to do the content creation, doing my business in a market that's down, even though I'm not currently down at the moment. Like, it's, it, it weighs on me. Um, I, I have a back end goal of, of some health improvement. So, like, sleeping a bit more actually working out maybe eating a le- couple less tacos all you're making it very so difficult good. right now um but like my my goal is like now i have this in sights like business wise i'm set to have a, a, a solid year awesome. i've got a new creation content outlet that i've never had before that i'm gonna go and now like if i physically get into a spot like where i'm like improving this realm like i could say like i might have had the best rounded out year of like my professional and like adult career so it's like let's do it let's go let's hold me back i'm here for you just the late night tacos is that's yeah. the only thing you know? and the burritos if you swirl it i gotta game. get on that peloton gotta get i gotta do it okay i just did the peloton app oh yeah we started that's it good. again yeah um so i've been on it but i so i recently I, was, I played soccer in college so i was kicking the ball and i went to go for a sprint because ball's in the air and like tweak my calf Ooh. and i was like no I was getting so much good momentum. I'm like, no. I, I feel like they got to have some stuff, like just upper body, just upper body. I mean, Crunches. Yeah. Just uh, no, eat, eating get right. The core right. Yeah. Like, got to feel good. Sweating. I'm sweating right now. I mean, well, thank God you have your deodorant. Like, we're just rocking out here. It smells great still. <laughs> I love it. Well, this is great. Thank you so much for, for coming, man. And if you guys don't follow him already, Coffee with Coleman. Love to see you there. Yeah. Hit him up. And uh, we, maybe we should do some coffee sometime. Let's do it. Is it how did that? Is that what it was? Like you're supposed to have like coffee with people, and then it just evolved. Uh, people are very disappointed in this answer. Traditionally, uh, I am not like a elitist when it comes to coffee or anything like that. If if the true thing was up, it'd be like Red Bull with Coleman. Like I love Red Bull, Ooh. but uh, but the just the way that the coffee with Coleman kind of rolled off the tongue. Like I, I loved it. I love and like. I did a little, it was like started because like one morning I was like, let's do coffee with Coleman. And then like anything else, I what, just don't What's your coffee, just black? So I have a Nespresso at home and it's just black. It's, yes. And it's it's the blue blue pods. Blue pods, Nespresso, Perfect. jam out. Strong. Yeah. Those things are. Gets it going. I, I got into oak milk recently. Oh, milk. I, I have never done it before, but I'm like, it adds a new little thing. So maybe I'm exploring more. Maybe I'm talking that into existence. The more I do we'll, this. We'll do, I have some friends at a Small Plains Coffee. We Ooh. should do a coffee cupping there because they're great. Let's do we it. get to smell like amazing coffees, single origin so- source. It's going to ruin my Nespresso. <laughs> and and uh, on Saturday, there's a coffee festival Ooh. in D.C. How am I not there? You, you want to go? I wish I could. I'm working all weekend. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I could, I could get you in. And then uh, there's also a sake festival that same day in the afternoon. So you're going to be really having a good day that and day. Excited. You're going to be going into that sake with the energy unknown to mankind. I'm going to be so excited. Like it's going to just be intense. And, and I just like got camping. off the phone with them today and they're like, hey, we're really pumped up to, to see you. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to be like off the, the walls, pumped up, <laughs> <laughs> like ready to I'm go. I'm going to get so much content. Make sure you have your gimbal ready. I, I, I you're, Get those shakes out of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, but thank you so much, man. This has been so much fun. My pleasure. And uh, thank you for tacos 
well, what's going on back there? But thank you for the tacos, Alegria, Bryant Street Market. Appreciate you. Everything was delicious. This it's, is amazing. You, you only had one thing. Unbelievable. You only had one thing, too. That they've seen on camera. You know, we had all that other stuff. Everything was perfect. Uh, and they have great drinks here, too. That looks like them. The yeah. full bar. Nice I, Scott selection. I, you got to try their drinks. I think they, they have some of the... This is DC's secret, like, best bar here. Jose back there is crushing it. There we go. So cool. they, they do a good margarita? The best. They have a oh. Doña Margarita with, with um, shit, foam... Gosh, oh my god, it's ridiculous. Ooh. Now you're just tempting. <laughs> yeah, we'll be we'll be we'll be straight. We'll have you test it. But uh <laughs> Wow, this is great. Uh All right. sounds good. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you, Hannah. Thank you for uh, coming out from Frederick. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's been great. Appreciate you. Always. And obviously Go Ninja Turtles, Kawabunga, like Go Detroit, day. Chicago's amazing. <laughs> Midwest. Midwest. Good, good people, good hearts. Bring yeah, it's the best. Tied down every single shade. Bring it on. Catching that ride on the way. Rain may come, but I say. Bring it on. I don't gotta worry. Not at all. Washing out the gray. With all the good vibes. Good vibes. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we ready right now. Right now, right now. Got me feeling so free. free.